why did you do that? Because you've taught me everything about baseball. Yeah, I've been drinking. We don't got a Two weeks ago, Randy Hauser got snipped too. This is a pandemic. Oh, this is the video. Oh, dude, this video is awesome. You know I got two home runs, right? Two, yeah. And then my grand slam, uh, I signed a ball for you. Okay. And, and it says, is? uh, no. So I'll put a date down for you. And it says, Papa, I love you. Oh. Why did you do that? Because you've taught me everything about baseball. Oh, oh, oh. That's so sweet. I put it right on my. Oh, God. That was so good. Oh, wow, oh, honey. Oh, that is so sweet. Sports are so important. I, I, I really I, I think that. Like that right there. He's ever mm -hmm. connected to this grandfather who like, taught him like about baseball and everything. And look, uh, it's wild. I, when I was a little kid, you know, I used to give my parents stuff and it sucked, right? But mm -hmm. they still loved it. And now my kids give me stuff and it sucks and I love it. It's like the I best know. thing ever. And then the grandkid, it gets taken off. Like I see some of the stuff that like my kids do for my mom and dad. I know. And they think it's the neatest thing in the world. I'm like, I made you an ashtray. I'm like, I don't care. If my like nephew does anything for me, I'm like, oh my goodness, you're so sweet. Mm -hmm. So I understand. Like it's just. Is he going to make you an ashtray? Not an ashtray. He'd start smoking if, if he, he did. If he had a home run, then mm -hmm. I would cry if he gave me the ball. But Is he, he going to give it to you though? I guess so. Maybe. Who knows? Look at you, a little misinformed. Like I just got kicked off a plane, and uh, where the hell am I at? <laughs> oh, wow. His social media people, I Houston, think that's his agent. Texas. Because I asked, told them that I didn't feel comfortable sitting next to somebody with a mask on. Right. Yeah, I've been drinking. <laughs> He's honest. Three hours. Yeah, I'm drinking. I ain't drunk. But they told uh, me off the plane you gotta disagree. I'm drunk. Because you people won't stand up and tell everybody what bullshit <laughs> is. Okay. I just told them I didn't feel comfortable about sitting next to somebody that had to wear a mask. And I'm off the plane. I can tell you without, and I was a bouncer for a long time. If someone just walks up to you and tells you that they're not drunk, they're drunk. They're drunk. Yes. That is just a one sign, number one. And the fact that I started this video and I knew instantly that this dude was lubed up and gassed up and ready to go. Now he, He's I'm not saying, I, I've never been kicked off a plane, right? And I plan on keeping that because I, I don't like doing long drives. But I do find it interesting that they kicked him off the plane and then just let him hang out in the airport. He's so is he going to sober up and get on the next flight? I guess so. I mean, this is like a Dirk Bentley song, Drunk on a Plane. But right. they're not letting it go by, you know. But the fact that when this video starts off, like that is like the drunkest start to a video you can get. But how, what could he have done? He seems so nice. Well, he seems nice, but he's loaded. He wasn't like, and it doesn't seem like he was like an angry drunk throwing a fit. He seemed pretty chill and like he's admitting things and sure. being honest. Like I just got kicked off the plane and uh... <laughs> he don't know where he is. Could he have just like stuck around long enough? Just. And the collar's doing him no favors either. That's a drunk dude collar right there. That is true. You know. That is true. Because now he's got to sit in the airport versus a plane. I mean, the airport's much worse than the plane. I, yeah. At least he's walking around though, exploring some space. Stand up. And I'll be honest with you, I, I don't want to do I, like I don't want to get into political arguments on a plane. Just shut up. Let's sit down. Let's all get to wherever the hell we're going, and let's be done with it. I'll sit by next to anybody on a plane. Just I'm to not get saying his point's going. even wrong. Yeah, but just like sit me down. Let's get it going. Wheels up, wheels down, and be done with it. Nobody clap when we land either. Oh yeah, this is legendary. Okay. Oh yeah, I saw this on Instagram. Oh. Is her baby blurred out? Oh no, it's their small sign. Right. She's doing like I think a gender reveal. Oh yeah, her <laughs> I was about to say husband's on the stage, and I think it might be her personal assistant. Okay. Miranda's personal assistant. Oh my. So a gender reveal that's too drunk. Mm hmm. The 
Oh, I thought she just gave it away. Oh, yeah, right. Come on, come on. I, I didn't know she was going to say something about somebody calling me. They should have the camera on the dad. You know, like, we did a gender reveal, and when it should, oh, so he's happy. Oh, I Or is he sad? Oh, he, he, I don't know, maybe he wanted a boy. Yeah. Oh, Eric Decker, Minnesota, oh, stand up. This angle right now. So, well. Should I be worried? I thought this was a video, this is a picture, okay. Says I survived. Uh-oh, did he do what? A vasectomy survivor. Oh, snap, and he's watching Dude, March Madness. why? Oh gosh, now we got the ice pack, okay. Those are some fantastic jeans, man. Oh, wow, he's he's proud of this. Well, well he's from uh, Recory, Minnesota, like uh, right outside of St. Cloud. And he's married to a gorgeous woman. Why would you stop this bloodline? If anything, be like the royal family, dude. Just be spitting out those kids until you're like 75 years old. I think he's got a good bit already. I think Probably. Got a good bit. And maybe his wife is like, I mean, I guess I, I give him Wait. props for taking action. Wait a second, go back right there. Did you see Jared Scott? Did you see that comment right there? Mm -hmm. Thinking of you three? What has she done? Wait, he's the one who, or maybe he means his three of like him and then one, two. Oh, wow. Like those three. Wow. I wouldn't have thought of that. I, I mean, because the wife did nothing. I mean, other than maybe pick him up. You She's know what I mean? like all the kids at this point. This is the least he could do. Wow. I mean, there's other methods to stop this madness. Yes. But, but I'm just saying, Eric Decker and Jesse James, both good looking people. Y'all should keep it going, man. Just spread those kids around they're not rabbits the the the, hub, the husband what? and i were at disney the next day with our month year old oh wow and our four-year-old carrying and pushing the buggy oh. shelby take it easy on a roller coaster can you imagine after that procedure after losing your little deckers no way am i going around doing all that stuff oh wow two weeks ago randy hauser got snipped too mm. this is a pandemic Mm. This is a pandemic. I can he looks like he's out. I feel bad for the guy. Do you know what the man went through? I mean. That's heavy lifting. I don't know what he went through. Uh, well, we're here. I'm surprised Mama did have her tubes tied if she had a C-section. They were both, they were in there anyway. Hmm. Well, Cam's a big oversharer, isn't she? Just hmm. throwing her business around on social media. Well, that's how, that's what it takes. You know, he's very adamant about not having any more kids. Nothing personal to any of those current kids. Just, Ooh, uh, and he Eric wants Decker? to make sure he's 100% sure. Now, I've heard that it may not work, too. Hmm. I knew someone who got the snip and still produced. Can you imagine getting all that done? Going through all that. What kind then, of man? What kind of fire hose are you talking about that you can't cut that stream <laughs> off? If anything, that should just be the green light to keep oh, it going. Oh, wow. Smart man from B. Haley. Ah, that sounds like somebody who's never gone through it.